there, my son. Fucking get in on the noggin. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Pokemon Thursday, where we talk about Pokemon, and I swear, so probably not for kids, even though we're talking about I can be a kid's show. <laughs> and I love to mix it up here on the channel. You guys know I do. And um, as you can see by the shirt, I am a massive football fan. No, it's not soccer. It's football. Um, but you Americans, if there's any Americans watching, you would call it soccer. But um, the thumbnail... I actually have that picture downstairs, and I was looking at it the other day, and I was like, who would I put in my Pokemon football team? So I was like, let's do it, and make a video, because I'm a fucking genius. Yeah, visuals, so, <laughs> hopefully, uh, like, hopefully all of you Pokemon fans like football, but if you don't, hopefully you can watch, right, and maybe get a little bit invested in football, because I'm going to put to you my team, and then I want you to put your team, and then we'll... See who we reckon would win. I, I generally think it's an awesome idea. I, like I said, I'm a fucking genius. But uh, let's take a look at my Pokemon, a foosball team. And yes, they're not Newcastle United. So I want you guys, please comment down below what my team should be called. Yeah. Right, obviously, we need 11 on the pitch. We need a manager and we're going to have three substitutions. Okay, so we'll start off with who's on the... Well, no, we'll tell you what. We'll start off with our manager and our manager is Meowth. That guy will give the best post and pre-match conferences ever. So Meowth is our manager. In Nets, I was just checking there, we've got Ambipom. That guy should be able to... I mean, you would maybe think someone like Snorlax because he was, you know, he's big, but could he get down left and right? You know, Ambipom could swing on the poses. You know, he's a little monkey and just boom, boom, boom. Our keeper. Right, now it's our defender's my favourite position on a football pitch. Hammer defender, or well, when I used to play. Our right back is Passimian. I think it would be great. He's got speed to go up when he needs to. Um, he'll get back in time to defend. Our left back is Kamoo. Uh, again, I think he'll have enough speed. Plus, he'll have enough grit to defend the ball. And our central defenders, we've got Machamp. Because no one's getting past him. And a Lowland Exeggutor. Because he would just... Do you know what I mean? Plus, you know, going for corners. We'll have him up. He can... A Lowland Exeggutor is a brilliant choice. Now, our midfield. On our left wing, we're going to have Hitmonlee. Because that boy... We'll be able to whip it in, you know, nice curlers with the kick in action. On the right wing, we've got Infinape. Again, I think he'll have the speed. I think he'll be great across on the ball. Now, in defence, right, this, this midfield is a very fighting type, uh, sorry, midfield. This is not defence, midfield. We've got Fro and Sork, but I'm going to have Fro as a defensive midfielder and Sork as sort of a playmaker, um, midfielder, central midfielder. I think it'll be great. The, the wingers are fine, whip it in. I think Fro will be defensive and great in the middle of the park. And Sork can just sort of, you know, in and out. He'll be able to do a bit of defender, but I want him to sort of play a bit more. Strikers, we've got Greninja and we've got Pikachu. Um, Greninja just slightly down. He can knock it down to Pikachu. Pikachu, because I think, you know, build enough quick attacks, do a quicker enough um, enough movement. Pikachu will be great up there. Obviously, the height doesn't go with Pikachu, but hey, Messi's not tall and he's friggin' brilliant. So, uh, Pikachu can swing in. Greninja can knock it down, plus Greninja... He'll be able to shoot as well himself. So that's the team of 11. Um, substitutions. Substitutions, I've got my sub keeper, which is Ditto. Because, right, Ditto, in a normal match, fine. But if it comes out a penalty shootout, if we put him in nets, and he <laughs> he will just transform into whoever's taking a penalty again. So if, like, I don't know, if Hitmonlee comes up and takes a penalty, and he, all of a sudden Ditto transforms to Hitmonlee, he's going to be like, whoa. It'll just, it, hopefully, I'm just trying to psych them out. Um, Muck as either defensive midfield or defence, straight up defence sub. He's not completely fast, but if the ball gets it gets stuck into him, it, it, you know, it could work. And we've got Dudrio to either go as a winger or a striker. The free heads, the rapid, should work out that way. But I'm going to put up a nice big team picture for you guys in a sec. Can my fucking whole screen be covered with the team? Now! Right, so, like I was saying, we've got Ambipom in nets. I think that's great. Kamoa left back, Machamp in alone, Executor, our central defenders, Passimian on our right, uh, right back. Sork and Fro in midfield, hit on Lee in for Nape, um, left wing and right wing, and Greninja and Pikachu up front. I think it's a great team, but like I said, I really want you guys to comment down below. If you like football, I, I hope to God you like football. Just who would be in your team? Because this was legitimately so much fun to put together. The, the team can go now. That was so much fun to to put together, and I enjoyed making that. I think my team my team is very attackive. We haven't got a lot of defense. There's a, there's enough, but there isn't a lot. 
So, I mean, that might be, you know, get caught on the counter attack or whatever. I, I think we've got a great, nearly unstoppable team there. It was, and it was hard as well because I, I wanted to put like people like Luxray in that in it, but I didn't know what Pokemon with four legs would be like. I don't know if they just fall over themselves. I don't, I don't know with the ball. Fail. And there you go. That was this week's Pokemon Thursday with something that I because there's, there's a few things I love in this world. Comic books, Pokemon, Newcastle United Wrestling. I love, and there's, there's more, but the, you know, they're key points. I love the fact that I can integrate Newcastle United with football with Pokemon. So let us know your team down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this complete, and I'm pretty sure this is a unique Pokemon video. I hope to God it is. I never do research before I do videos, but yeah, you know, it's because I'm a fucking idiot. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy the visuals. Did you watch the uh, thank you video? Should I get the um? Should I get the watch out? If you watch the thank you video, you'll you'll know that I, I knackered it, so I have to like. We'll we'll uh, we'll shoot the dog. Should we shoot the dog? No, do we do we we attack the dog a bit too much? Ah, screw it. She looked at me funny. Let's the, the shoot the dog. Right, we're in a first-person shooter game here. Why is the last one coming out? Did we win? I'm gonna say we won. I love you, Ellie. You're just easy to attack with Pokemon toys. But yeah, that was this week's Pokemon Thursday. Hopefully you enjoyed. It was a nice little hybrid. Um, yeah, I thought it was quite a cool video to do. But visuals, thank you so much. You all mean the absolute world to me. And uh, I keep on, I keep in. Oh.